So when Abraham left the father's house, he left the father's house and the only property he left with was a barren wife. And he took a cousin that left with him. Abraham at 75 was barren. The wife was barren. There were no children. But God was saying, I will make you a great nation. I thought he said, I will give you children. But he didn't say, I will give you children. He said, I will make you a great nation. Reason, wherever the blessing is, the word of God will come to pass. Wherever the blessing is, the promises of God will come to pass. Because on the platform of the blessing, the word of God, God is established. And Abraham left and followed God. And we all know the story. But I, my focus today is not majorly Abraham as a person that became Abraham. Abraham, by the blessing, grew to the point where he had 318 trained men in his house. 318 trained and armed. So they were there to guard Abraham's house. Question. Do you, what do you need 318 men armed to guard? They were there to guard the influence and the affluence. They were there to guard the riches and the wealth that the blessing conferred on Abraham. 318 trained men. Even Asurok does not have up to 100. Government house does not have up to 70. The government house of your state. Abraham had 318 in his house. Guiding his house. And to the teeth. And one of the days, some kings messed up within the neighborhood. And Abraham got the hint and said, guys, let's go to war. And with 318 men, he routed five nations and five kings. That was how blessed Abraham is. And that is the blessing that God reintroduced to us in Christ. And I say to you, the last battle you lost is the last you ever lose in the name of Jesus. Because Abraham never lost a battle, you are not going to lose a battle again. You are not going to lose any battles again. In the name of Jesus, I declare today victory and dominion over circumstances by the blessing in your life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus came to reintroduce the blessing. At this point, is called the blessing. Of Abraham because in the life of Abraham God manifested that blessing to a dimension that by the time you look at the children of Abraham Isaac and by the time you look at Isaac the blessing was so strong in Isaac that a nation feared him he became wealthier than a nation by the blessing. By the time he came to Jacob, that blessing moved to another dimension. By the time he came to Joseph, he became a prime minister in a strange land. You didn't understand how an ex-convict can be released. And the same week he was released, in the same nation, he was made the prime minister. An ex-con. When the blessing is at work, the senses of men are suspended. And that is what I say to you you today. I release that blessing into your life in the name of Jesus that will break protocols on your behalf and give you the kind of riches and wealth you never knew before in the name of Jesus. Hey. Joseph became a prime minister in a strange land. Beautiful thing is that that position never existed until Joseph appeared. What it means is that the blessing created it. And the blessing will create positions for you that never existed before. For your establishment in the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to. They say there's no position. There's no place. The blessing is creating one for you. In the name of Jesus. In that office. The blessing is creating one for you. In the market. The blessing is creating one for you. In the school. The blessing is creating one for you. In your career. A space is being made by the blessing for you to prosper. 